All right, it's Monday morning. He's cool. We just got this Diamondback Terrapin in from the Gulf Coast Research Lab. <laughs> they are a relative protected species in this area. Where are you going? Slow down. Or I'll turn the other way so it happens. If you'll notice that, uh, that swelling there on the right side of his cheek, that is probably and most likely a a oral hematoma or abscess as well and we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get that lanced and get him taken care of but anyway first I wanted to document how it looked beforehand and then we'll uh, get into the procedure you have to do this under general anesthesia so anyway it's actually a very beautiful species quite a bit of personality in these guys I love the spots and stuff that are all over them including the ones that are on the head awesome beautiful very cool that's it for now. Okay, uh, again, this is the Dinobac Terrapin. Uh, these guys are semi-protected uh, because they're basically a uh, brackish water species. Uh, they spend time both in fresh and salt water. Anyway, they're a really cool species. As you can tell, they're quite beautiful. Um, this is actually after we're sedated. I actually turned the camera off while I was actually giving the injection just to make sure that nobody uses Dr. Google to figure out how we do this. I do believe this should be done by a veterinarian because if you miss, these guys can be paralyzed or worse. So anyway, um, the uh, surgery is already done. It's just really a quick lancing, cleaning. Uh, there's another video actually done. It's going to be a plus cam that shows this a little bit closer. But anyway, this is ba the reason I did it this way is this is about four hours of procedure. Um, getting him down, getting him back up, making sure this is fine. This, was, this is the reason we have this in time lapse. So anyway, uh, we check on him about every 15, 20 minutes. Uh, make sure we just stimulate the feet around, the, make sure the eyes are blinking. Um, we're getting oxygenation because uh, this is propofol and propofol can, uh, can be an issue. It can actually cause uh, apnea. Anyway, so uh, with that in mind, we just make sure that we're still breathing. If you'll notice, this guy actually does tiny bits of breathing movements. It's a great anesthesia for reptiles. The hard part is actually getting an IV access, and that can be dangerous. Anyway, um, so enjoy the rest of this video. Understand this is just four hours of turtle care wrapped up into one just over three-minute video. All right, that's it. Later.